The United States won't protest if Kiev invades Crimea. The United States would not protest if Ukrainian forces used weaponry supplied by Americans to attack sites in Crimea. According to a senior defense official, the question of whether Washington supports Kiev in annexing Crimea or at the very least in attacking Russian targets was put to Celeste Willander, Assistant Secretary of Defense for International Security Affairs. Wallander reaffirmed that the United States supports Ukraine's territorial integrity and sovereignty over its internationally recognized boundaries, including Crimea, when addressing at the Center for the New American Security. In light of this, the official argued that Kiev has the right to defend every square mile of its territory, and that as long as Ukraine sees tactical benefit in engaging Russian forces on its soil, we have no objections and do not seek to restrict Ukrainian military operations to accomplish their goals. She also addressed remarks made by General Mark Milley, chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, who cautioned in January that it would be extremely challenging for Ukraine to forcefully drive Russian forces from all of its territories. Now under their authority I won't disagree with General Milley, and I believe he was providing a sober assessment of the magnitude of the challenge, she said in January, according to a report in the New York Times that cited sources, that the administration of US President Joe Biden was warming to the idea of assisting Ukraine in its campaign against Crimea. While the Pentagon claimed that this long-range capability would allow Ukrainians to retake their sovereign territory, the US announced a new $2.17 billion security package for Ukraine on February 3, even though it increased the risk of escalation. This package included ground-launched small-diameter bombs GLSDB, with a range of up to 150 kilometers (93 miles). It chose not to speculate on Kiev's potential future activities, but last week Dmitry Medvedev, a former Russian president who is now the deputy chair of the country's Security Council, issued a warning that any attack on Crimea would be seen as an attack on the nation itself. Kiev, he asserted, must realize that such actions will inevitably result in retribution using weapons of whatever type.